We are live at the Methodist Church of Trinity in Namdi Azikwe Street, Tinubu Square, Lagos, for the commendation service in honor of late Dr. Bolaji Adekunle Bangboye, who lived a fulfilled life and impacted people in diverse ways in his lifetime. He was an icon, a legend, a father, a reverend, grandfather, and great grandfather. And of course, a cool blog is here to bring you the details of this memorable event as it unfolds. I am Olainka Olorunshola. Please stay tuned. Living a fulfilled life on earth is not only determined by how long, but also how well one lived. It's unarguably true that Dr. Bolaji Adekunle Bangboye lived a good and long life as he passed on at age 89 years. Family and friends gathered at the Methodist Church of Trinity in Namdi Azikiwe Street to pay their last respect to the late Dr. Bang Boye as they attended the commemoration service organized in his honor. They all settled in the church as the service started with the singing of hymns to glorify God for the life of the late Dr. Bang Boye. <laughs> There was a brief charge to encourage both the family and every other individual present and to also prepare them for the life God has promised them on earth and even after. After the sermon, the pastors called on all family members of late Dr. Bangui and led the congregation in praying for them. Thank you, Lord, for the life of the Lord, for this time. And thank you for the life of the children. Thank you for how far that you have led them. And thank you for what they have become to be. May your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit the children into your hands. We pray that you will continue to empower them. That your grace will be sufficient for them. You will continue to guide them, protect them, and protect them in all their doing in the arms of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you are the Father of the fathers. We pray that you will be their Father in the arms of the Lord Jesus. The family of the late Sir Bangboye gave a thanksgiving offering to thank God for the life of their father. They sang praises to God and danced as they made their way to the offering ark. <laughs> Mrs. Erelu Anu, who is the first child of the late Dr. Bangui, represented the rest of the family as have a vote of thanks appreciating family and friends who came from far and wide to honor and pay their last respect 
to the late Dr. Bang Boye. All glory belongs to God. My dad, now the late Bang, Dr. Bang Boye, was a good man. He was a great man. He was an icon and a legend to those who met him but knew him. He's jovial, he's very playful, and I guess I'm not in trouble with having a lot of women. But apart from that, he was a real true man. I'm going to speak to the children first. There are 11 of us, nine mothers. I give God the glory that they all been well, but with great, let's clap for God's life. Some of us have had the opportunity to be with him or to live with him. But the DNA of the bad boy is in your blood. And it will forever be in your blood. It will be in the children, the grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Dan, I'm talking to you now. And also to you and Kathy that are here. My own children are in the States. I give up the glory that none of his children died before me. I also want to thank, the reason why I can speak on speaking on the first child, and I lived with him basically all my life. And I give God the glory for that. To my siblings that are in the UK and US, daddy is gone, but we still have a father, and now he's in heaven. Let us the children unite and become one. That's what I'm asking. We have our differences. But I want us to be legendary forever. We should be men. I want to now talk to my in-laws in the Swallow family. Please clap for them. I want to thank them for being there for me, for making sure I've been with them home now for 29 years, 30 the next year, my God's grace, for enduring me. So agree me. And for all our in-laws that are here, not just my in-laws, the in-laws, the Bangui men, the white in-laws, Gongui, that, or all our in-laws, but we don't, if you didn't stand by us, we won't be where we are today, but for everybody. I also want to say thank you to the Bangui family. I'm going to say the best for us, and he knows who he is. But we're coming, I just met some today. I'm a Mora Jubello. We're alone, I think I was here right. Sister, thank you for coming. The roads, the airway pass, and Tiori. The families that I don't know that know me from small man, this is the big I don't know. And I said, say the best for us, because we have And thank you. I love you loads. I just want to say thank you. Everything. Ask for God. For families and friends, for my names, member, Diane Pedro, Adi Shaka, Afia, all of you, of the entire Bumi, Tunde, Tope. I just want to say thank you for all standing by me. Everything you guys ask for, I want, and I've got a great day. From for honest friends. Dr. Adelaide, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Lion Animasha, thank you. It's to be good, thank you. My in-law, Silaito, my friend, thank you. I just want to say thank you to everybody. And if I've missed anybody, please forgive me. Thank you, Otuma, TJ Abbas, for sending me a good blog. And thank you, city people, Mr. Shea for sending Sunday. The best is yet to come. And thank you God for my husband, Honorable Gabriel Bode Iswala, and my children, Nicole, Justina, and Timothy, for standing by me and letting today happen. Thank you all, and God bless. As the service came to an end, we took our time to interview attendees of the service who had a lot to say about their various experience with the late Dr. Bangui. My dad is from the 
royal family, the Gaishi family, well, that produces the Oni of Ife. And um, he's of eight children, they're eight children. And his father was late Pa Emmanuel Bangboye. And the irony of it is that the father was buried in this particular church in 1968. So I thank God he was a magistrate, chief magistrate. My father um, lived in America all his life in California and he was a professor and he was highly honored and respected. And he had a lot of family ties, the roots, Chifola Yinka roots, Baba Chola roots. Um, 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 Mama Oye, the years in Mama Oye. And I just thank God that we're able to celebrate his life. And he had 11 children, and I'm the oldest out of the 11. And I'm just trying to bring us all back together. One thing he gave me was a sound education. And his legacy can never, that's why I call him an icon and a legend. He used to teach here at Unilag also. And people that knew him, he would give you the, the shirt off his back. That's how loving he was. And with that came the women. So, <laughs> so we just thank God. I'd also like to thank Otumba, TJ Abbas, and the Eco Hot Blog for giving me this opportunity. I'm also an Eco wife because my husband is um, President Gabriel Yibodi of the Eco Club DC Metro. So, Otumba, thank you very much. Eshegon, God bless you. My father is very loving, jovial, and devoted man of God. To me, it may it teach me to be a very devoted man, a cheerful person who can sacrifice everything, then be more committed to my spiritual journey to heaven because death can come anytime. Oh, my late dad is a wonderful person. He's a very wonderful man. You know, he's a man that is, he loves helping people, you know. He's very committed to his family. He's very understanding. He's a man anyone would love to have as a father. Well, he was buried in the US. Unfortunately, I couldn't get there at that time. So we had to do a commendation service here in Nigeria. And that's why we are using this commendation service to honor him and say farewell, Dad. God bless you. You know, in situations like this, let's thank God for the siblings that cannot be here. I have one senior that can't be here. That's my immediate brother, Dr. Okunle. He's in Palm Beach. So hopefully for the one year remembrance, everyone will be in Nigeria to celebrate that. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just glad at least everything went well. So then some of my siblings on my mother's side, the senior son that I lived with in the US, he came. So I'm happy that at least somebody came from my mother's side also. So it's been good. My mother passed 30 years ago. You know, may her so rest in peace. And I know her and my dad has finally met again. So if there's reincarnation, I hope both of them come back soon. So I thank you guys for coming and for putting up with all the stress. Because even getting here myself, I know Abuja more than Lagos. I'm just getting to know Lagos a little bit. Now, my wife that got transferred to meet me here knows Lagos more than me. You know, so I'm just happy that everything went well. We can now sit back and now plan the one year remembrance pro properly. And I give uh, thanks to the most elders. Ereluwa. <laughs> I give thanks to her for being patient and being able to try and put so many different personalities together. You know, so we're all bang boys, we all have our uh, little issues, but you know that happened with siblings. But the main thing is for everyone to come together and let whatever is disturbing each of, each and every one of us and just get along. Any So you understand, you know, it's not about uh, uh, one sex. If you're strong, you're strong. And she's someone I can say, you know, in the morning you can say, Lord, make her head. Lord, make her shine. She will never fade and she will always lead. So I pray that for her to be able to put this together because all this is on her. And I'm grateful that, you know, the Lord has made her head. will always keep her head and everything she will do in life will always be successful. Uh, Balaji is a nobleman and um, 
is also from uh, from the history you can we have the ball team came from Ife as well and uh, today we are celebrating uh, the exit of an icon and um, Papa has lived well so he lived most of his life outside the country he has uh, contributed his own quota to the development of uh, of this nation, Nigeria, if a community, and uh, the society at large. I feel um, I haven't been buried. Uh, it is very good for us to commend his life, at least to thank God for a life well lived, and um, also to encourage those who are still alive and his children, the family, uh, to be of good character and to also contribute to the development of our society. The truth of the matter is that I don't know much about him, but I'm very close to one of the daughters, uh, Lion Dr. Anu Isuola, uh, who invited me to this event. But I've taken time to ask her to tell me something about his father, because I could see that he's so passionate, she's so passionate about the man. And he told me that the father was very caring, very loving, particularly all his children. And that it was the foundation he laid uh, for them in life that has made all of them what they are today. And that's what the information I got from uh, Dr. Anu Isuola. Uh, who brought me to this event. Although I've not seen him in a while, because he's been in the States for a while, but I remember those loving moments when we used to go visit him when he was in Unilag, when he was a lecturer in Unilag. And also when um, I traveled with my father, my late father, in 1974. My father went for sabbatical in, the, in Detroit. So we also went visiting him. We had to travel a long way to see him. Oh, we're just commending him into the hands of God. You know, he died abroad and was buried abroad. So we just just felt that we could, we should have a service for him. Just as the Reverend said, that Okuolomo, Okuashe Tushemi, we continue to do him and remember, just just to remember him. And for those of us here in Nigeria that we're not able to let to go for the service. At least to say farewell to him. He was a good man and he was loved by people. He has used his life for the benefits of the bankite and we give thanks unto God for the life he has spent. It, is, it was a life well spent and we give thanks to God for that. It's just a commendation service. You know, the burial has taken place in UK and we are here for the commendation service today because many people could not go with them to abroad and that is why today we gather together to celebrate this wonderful man of God, a legend and an icon. Late uh, Professor Bolaji Adekule Bangweye, he was a medical practitioner, doctor, a medical doctor. He gave birth to Dr. Anwe Isuala, a medical doctor, a dentist by profession. Dr. Erelu Anwe Isuala gave birth to Dr. Nicole another doctor by profession. What else can you say about a kind of man like that? You know he has lived a good life. He has lived to make sure that the children and the grandchildren, the heroes, and I mean, his, his heroes, his legacy is left behind. They are all still working and everything is working very fine. He has laid that foundation that he was a father, a great grandfather. You understand what I'm saying? And up to date, everything is left behind is still working very fine. Well, I have fond, very fond, profound memories of Dr. Bangwe. He was my very close friend, my namesake. I fondly call him Bolaji because we are very close. We socially connected ourselves in Lagos 
and lay for, for many years. I also, whenever I visited America or South America, I took time to see him. And I had connection with her daughter, Anu, who is a close friend of my first daughter, Lulu. We are still very close. Unfortunately, she had a very bad cold. She couldn't attend this, this function. And that was why I came late. But Balaji remained a very trustworthy, constant, loving and dependable friend throughout his life. I'm sorry that he left, but what can I say? It's God's doing. Every one of us must have to pass on. Until we meet again, we share his profound memories. I miss him so much. I miss his calls. I miss his jokes. You know, funny names he used to call me. Like, he do call me pet. <laughs> he calls me pet. He said, pet, how are you? Are you broke? I said, daddy, are you going to give me money? He said, yes. I always work for my children. I will always give you money. <laughs> I miss him so much and I say may he so rest in peace. Like I said before, it's just like remembering daddy. Like I didn't witness the burial. It was done in America. So it was a big deal for me coming here today. Like when I was coming in, just for me to see the poster outside, I felt somehow I was like, maybe I'm walking in there to go and see his uh, coffin. But unfortunately it was done in America. It's a big deal coming here today. My grandpa was 89. He died on August 19. And I, I don't really remember the time I really saw him at this age. So it's just my daddy and mommy that told me I only saw him when I was a baby in the airport. So he just died. They buried him in America. He died in America. Growing up, I, he was very close to my father, uh, Chief Yinka Rhodes. And, um, he was um, a very robust man, and I knew him as a bubbly, very bubbly gentleman. And I remember that um, in 1975, when we traveled to the States for the first time, we, went, we, had, we spent the time with him in California. And I think he was um, responsible for me but my parents allowed me to go to invest in America, you know, when I, so it was a um, very pleasant man. Me, well, uh, you know, for someone who's been away for so long, you know, it's always important that, um, and, and, and he, didn't, um, he didn't die here. You know, it's very important that at least we do one final commendation service for him in his Lagos Island where he was born and where his old roots are, you know, it's actually around the corner in Bangoshi, you know, so it's um, it's like our final, at least um, um, local, like Lagos farewell to him. <laughs> I'm going to go to the store. 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 I'm going to go to the store.
There is no doubt that late Dr. Bolaji Adekunle Bangwe was loved dearly and will truly be missed. May he continue to have eternal rest. Kindly ensure you follow us on all our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Olayinka Olorunshala once again, reporting for Ecole's blog. <laughs>